Why is there so much religious division? You think about that. I'm about to go and worship God this morning here at the 39th Street Church of Christ. And as I go to that building, I can look down the road that runs in front. And upon this road, there's at least six different religious bodies that will identify themselves by different names. They have different creeds, different doctrines. They will preach different ways of salvation. All of these things are so strange. Why is it that way? Well, I can tell you it's not because of Jesus. Jesus prayed in John 17 that we could be one, and that oneness was through the word that was to be spoken. You find that Jesus, in the Ephesian letter, in chapter 2, the only religious division that God ever condoned, actually demanded, was Jew and Gentile. But he said he took that law, that old law way, to make of twain one new man. Colossians, the second chapter, says he blotted it out. He nailed it to the cross. He took it away. And thus we are to all follow, Matthew 28, 18 through 20, those things that Jesus brought in, that new covenant it's not because we can't understand them. John 8 and verse 32, he said, you can know the truth that makes you free. And the only way we're his disciples, John 8 and verse 31, is if we follow those things. But the problem comes because of man. Apostle Paul warned in 2 Timothy, the fourth chapter, that the time would come, you know, there are those who are going to have itching ears. In other words, I want to hear what I want. I want to attend the church of my choice. I want to worship the way I want. I want to be saved the way everybody else is or that person is or my family was. But Paul warned Timothy, he said, you need to preach the word because there are plenty of people who are going to scratch those itching ears. That's why you can go out on 39th Street or in any street throughout the United States or really throughout the world and find whatever doctrine you want. But if we're noble, Acts 17 and verse 11, we'll look for the doctrine God wants. You see, division isn't here because God has failed. It's because man has failed God. But God still has that word for us. And if we love him, we will not only be noble and search the scriptures, but we'll do what he says. No matter how intense that itch may get, we're not going to allow false teaching to scratch it. We're only going to be satisfied with the word of God. That's the only way of unity. I pray that's what each of us wants. If we can help you to have that, feel free to contact us. We'd love to study the matter with you. Thank you for listening.